What's going on everybody? Dr. D-Dub here and welcome back to Sonata Springs and we are here looking at Tuning Fork Terror. Uh, I'm glad we ended up making the changes we did uh, last episode. They made this ride actually popular. Uh, there's quite the line uh, and it's the rides or the, the trains are actually spaced out fairly nicely to where the ride or the line pretty much fills up or not completely but enough to where it's enough people to fill uh, one one train worth and then there's just a few people left uh, sometimes it's the other way around just a few people short like right now uh, but it came out really nicely just in time for another train to come back and we did just open this probably two or three minutes prior to this recording uh, since I haven't messed around in this park at all since last time so it's still building in popularity that's why there's some empty seats on some of these rides or on some of the trains but that will go away soon, and it will be a thriving coaster. So, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we're just going to go... I realize we got these fry stalls, so we're going to build some fry stalls. Because why not? Uh, everyone likes food, right? We'll do another one right there, and we'll do a third one maybe on this, this side of our park. Yeah, I think this will work nicely. Now, one thing I realized we haven't really done too much of is decorating this park. And I know I mentioned early on that uh, I wanted to just add some lamp posts and such. Um, there's some spaces that don't have any, I'm not sure why, that were in pre-existing portions of our park. And there's others, like in the areas that we built, that don't have any either. So we're going to add some. Uh, it's not a huge... Uh, decoration it doesn't need to be but it does it does the trick and I'm seeing now we have jumping fountains so I might do a stretch of this bridge right here maybe that has some jumping fountains I think that could be kind of cool I love the jumping fountains if I don't think I've used them since uh, leafy lake I believe it was but I love them I should use them more often because they just look so cool. I like them. I like them a lot. <laughs> okay. Um, I said last time I wanted to do um, another coaster this episode. And I'm... Did I just place that in the line? I don't want that. That's weird looking. I wanted it right here. There we go. Uh, I mentioned last time I wanted to do some sort of roller coaster this episode. That might be changing. Um, they don't need lights underground and we'll do one more right there and that should tie off our bark um, so I didn't we haven't got any new um, any new coasters recently we might have some I'll check here in a second but from what I've seen we don't have any new ones um, we have a couple that we haven't built yet so I guess they're as new as they can get. Uh, but I'm not sure I want to build them in this park. This park is going to get pretty claustrophobic if I end up building the rides that we have. Um, so I'm not sure I want to do that. Let me go ahead and take a look. I realized that I didn't place mechanics there. Um, let me see what we have because that's going to dictate what we do. So we just built a wooden... Uh, we don't have a steel mini in this park, do we? I don't think we do. Actually, that might be something we do. That could easily fit in a nook or a cranny, as could the wooden crazy rodent. Uh, but there's the mine train, and then inverted and suspended, which I still don't believe we've even built one of these, like in the entirety of this Let's Play. Speaking of which, we just got a steel corkscrew coaster. Awesome. I might do one of those too. I'm not sure. Or instead of... Uh, but while I am meandering about and not making up my mind what I want to build, let me actually build something. Uh, just so we have, again, something. And this is going to be a no-line type of ride. Entrance right here, exit right there, short and sweet. It's already blue and green. We'll keep that color scheme. Uh, forward rotation. What's the max we can do? Eight. We're going to do it. We're trying to... We're trying to maximize our fun in this park. Everything is... I'm maxing out the number of swings on pretty much everything. So, 
Soprano slide hasn't been fixed. Do I have a mechanic on that? No one's even heading for it. Uh, where did everything just go? There we are. Uh, where's our mechanic in this area? This dude. River Rapids. Ooh, he does not have access to it. There we go. Now he should get the call. I believe. I hope. Come on, fix it. Get the call. There you go. I guess I forgot a mechanic over here as well. Okay. So enough of that. So, Ferris wheel 1 is open. Do we have any test results yet? We do. 288. That's actually pretty good for a Ferris wheel. And I think it has to do with uh, upping the number of rotations. There it is. Number of rotations. Uh, paint, again, is good. And then we need a name. Um, what's another musical term? Fermata. Let's actually look at it while we do this. Sometimes that helps me. Um, Fernada. Nope. Oh, what is it doing? There we go. Fermata Fairview. It sounds like a, an old English woman's, not old, a English woman back in the day's name or something. Fermata Fairview. Daughter of David Fairview. I don't know. Call me crazy. Okay, uh, what did I want to do? Fermata uh, is, if you're reading music and you see a fermata over a note, it means you basically hold that note until your conductor tells you to stop. Uh, so you, you basically just play it and keep it playing and you keep, keep the note sustained until you're told to stop. I'm pretty sure at least. <laughs> Okay, enough of me dilly-dallying. Let's build something. Uh, we are going to do a coaster. I have decided. And I haven't decided which one, but I've decided we're going to do one. We're going to do a steel corkscrew. I think. Game just kind of froze up there for a second. And we're going to do it I'd like to utilize some of this space, but I don't want it to look hideous. So in order to do both of those, um, we're gonna do something different here. I'm not actually gonna build it here. I want it to be kind of up in the air here. So we'll start it right there. Can I click on that piece? There we go. And we're gonna delete all that. And I want station starting up high, kind of. And I also want it to go back underneath this. I'm not sure where this is going to go, but I do want it to come out this direction. Uh, and hopefully we can clear the line. Is that a tree or the line in my way? That is right... That is running right into the line. Um... If I do a small one and another small... Nope. Okay, so we're going to have to come in from the other direction. Or we could do more station out the back. And then go under the footpath. Which I think might be a better option. Let me try. I'm going to have to do invisible supports for the entire build of this ride. And I do realize I'm building it backwards currently. Um, we could make that work if we... If we go under and dip it down there. Yeah, this will work. Slightly different than what I had anticipated. But that will work nonetheless. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there and actually start building it from the front. And yeah, I think I am going to do invisible supports for this entire thing. Just so I can see what I'm doing as I go through this area. Uh, let me just get one final uh, view or idea of kind of what it looks like so I know where I can pass through without it looking awful. Okay. I think I got it. Invisible supports. And this is going to be the weirdest looking build of a coaster I think we've done yet. So footpath in the way, footpath in the way. 
chain lift up over the footpath. Nope. Man, that's one thing about having or not having supports is that it can be kind of difficult to see what you're doing exactly. And so I don't, I still think I can build another ride back here. Uh, and I'm planning on doing that. I say planning loosely because who knows what's going to end up happening. But is that the edge of our park? We're one away. So we can actually go one higher. Flatten out, turn, and we should be at the edge right there. Perfect. And I'd like to do a pretty steep drop right off the bat here. And then right back up. So we started at 26. Um, ooh, we can do that. That's going to be way too high. Yeah, okay. So we'll have to turn it here. And this is actually going to come up, it looks like, right between uh, these two pieces of track. So that should look pretty cool. At least I'm hoping so. Yeah, that'll be nice. All right, and then we're going to drop back down, get a little speed going again. And then we're going to utilize some of this space and kind of go off in this direction. So, but yeah, what is everyone up to today? Uh, today's been a pretty lazy day for me. It's been kind of nice. We can't do that. Um, we can go the other direction. But yeah, today's been kind of a lazy day. It's been very enjoyable, actually. Ooh, we can't do... Ugh, this isn't working like I wanted. Uh, we'll go further and then we'll do it. Uh, but yeah, today's been, for the third time, a lazy day for me. I went grocery shopping. I just got done with that, actually. I just got back right before recording this. And uh, I got some chicken marinating right now. I'm going to cook or grill some chicken for dinner. It's going to be delicious. I'm very excited for it. I love doing chicken. And whenever I do chicken, I don't do like meal prep like some people do. Uh, I think that just really limits your options for the week and I know that's kind of the purpose of it so that you are forced to eat healthy because you've done the planning ahead of time but I like having options when I do chicken I can do I can cut it up and do a fajita meat one night I can do um sorry I'm trying to see where this is going to go I can do um like what I'm planning on doing tonight is probably going to be a chicken salad a grilled chicken salad so you have m many options with chicken, and I like it. All right, so we started at 26, down to 22, do a corkscrew. So this will still be going fairly fast. We're at 15 right here. Uh, so we should be able to do another, now that I can see what I'm doing here, another, can we do loops on this one? No, just corkscrews, okay. Is it going to be the tree or the ride that's in my way? We'll actually do a back-to-back -back corkscrew loop right here. I don't know what I'm deleting. I'm just hoping it's the right stuff. Is that going to be the roller coaster? It is. So we'll actually go to the right. And then we need to lose some of this momentum. We're going to be going pretty fast right now. So we'll actually go up steep-like. Go up all steep-like. <laughs> and then is that the roller coaster it is okay so we're going to can I go one more mm, dang it okay I don't know where this is going to end up because I do want to do this steep but then we run into that and there's no way to get it to go steeper sooner. No. Dang. Uh, we might just have to take this out further first and then go up. Because that should clear everything. Except we're going to run right into the edge of our park right here, I think. I don't know if we're going to need that, but I'm doing it just in case. No, I'm not. We're not doing that. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Oh, boy, guys. Sometimes building coasters is... Uh, it takes a toll on your brain. Uh, right now is one of those times. 
Oh, that's kind of cool. It kind of lines up with that other piece. I know it doesn't line up exactly, but... And right now, it's... I'm just kind of guessing my way through what I can do and what I can't do. I think I'm running into this part right here. So let me just turn it. No, that doesn't work either. So we'll do a helix down small here instead. And we might be able to get away with two of them. Maybe. Now we're going to have ride in our way as well. Is it a tree now? Is it this tree? Is it that tree? It's that tree. Okay. So our station is kind of underneath us here. And we're at 18 and that is at 10. Um, I have honestly lost track of how much momentum we're going to have. So this could be absolutely atrocious or it could be absolutely amazing. I don't really know. Uh, but that's going to go... That'll work. That will work, actually. Okay. So I want to run this along the back side of this here. We'll actually go one further, maybe two further. So we can line up on the edge of our park. And again, I can't tell where my supports are lining up. But this section right here, I think is we're going to do some breaks. And I actually want to do something different. Uh, if you guys remember when I did, uh, what did I call it? Low gains, loopy loopers uh, on Katie's World. I started, I just did it. I don't know what speed I dropped it to, but I just did it initially. Here, I'm going to do sort of gradual so it looks more natural. It just went from a high speed immediately to a low speed. The way I'm doing it now... Uh, I can't talk and do that. I lost track of it. The way I'm doing it now, uh, it will gradually slow down instead of abruptly slow down. So hopefully that will help quite a bit. And our last one is four there. And I need to make sure to have a drop kind of right after the brakes uh, because we had we ran into that issue of not being able to... Oh boy, I'm getting ideas as I go. Uh, we ran into the issue of not being able to get enough speed before the loop we did after it uh, because the back part was still stuck on the brakes. And so as soon as it let go, the front part was already on the loop and it didn't work out so great. And it looks like this handyman is not able to mop that up or someone isn't doing their job. Uh, but we'll go ahead and fix that. And as I'm building this, it's looking very much like I'm going to turn this the other direction instead. Uh, because I'm seeing it right now and it's lining up pretty nicely for an exit or a reconnection on this side. So we're going to try doing that. And that actually... No, that doesn't work. We're going to have to shorten this up one as well. Because with the invisible supports we're actually immediately or directly underneath that and I don't want that I want that to where I can clear all of that pathway and the supports and I'm actually going to go ahead and uncheck all this all the uh, invisible supports because I can I can see what I'm doing again but okay where is this lining up so okay so we got some speed there can I do another steep drop? If the tree is not in my way, I can. That looks kind of cool. Uh, and then what if we do... This might not line up where I'm wanting it to. We're actually going to go one above the water here. But if I do a corkscrew left and then a corkscrew right or a corkscrew left again, no, it's going to put us right in line with that. So what we're actually going to do is... Okay, this will actually work out. This actually works out nicely. We're going to S bend one to the left. Actually, we're going to do that so we can get over two tiles. And then we can do a steep drop all at once instead of having to do those two bits. And this will actually probably put us at a better height to do this at. Um, but we'll do a corkscrew left and then another corkscrew left to get us going back in this direction. And that should line up almost correctly not quite um but we're close 
So let's actually try doing a he a large helix up and then a small helix up to put us closer to that. Actually, that puts us one tile in the opposite direction. And we need to be meeting in the middle there. But that does get us to the correct height. Uh, so we came from 18. We're at 11. I don't know if this is going to be too much if we do that. There's only one way to find out, though. And this ride could be absolutely awful. Again, I've been trying to talk through most of this, and I've kind of lost track of how much speed we have where. So, again, could be awful, could be great. I don't know, but we'll find out here very shortly. Uh, so that's going to go right there. We'll get the exits and entrances, or I guess singular entrance and exit built. Looks like we're still too high. There we go. That connects up nicely. And then the entrance. No, we're done with that. The entrance queue, or I guess the queue, period. We'll go... I don't quite know where. Kind of want to do it somewhat long. Does that line up? It does. I think that looks nice. We're going to do that. Okay, so let's paint this. I do like the blue. Uh, I am not opposed to that. I do want to try to change change this a little bit, though. Uh, just to give a little bit of variation. That looks kind of cool, but now this looks not light enough. What if we do that? What if we do the other way around? This is going to be very bright, and I'm aware of that. <laughs> and then teal dark blue that kind of looks cool i kind of like that i think we're gonna do that yeah it's more gives more contrast than that blue or pretty much any other of those blues blues did sorry my voice just gave out there uh and then how many how many trains do we have two i'm okay with two because we have to drop it quite a bit to get three it looks like actually i need to be checking this Yeah, we have to drop it a lot to get three trains, and we're not going to do that. So we're going to do two trains with eight cars per train. Uh, paint job. Let's do... Let's do red. Uh, I, usually I try to do my uh, train colors the same color scheme as my track, but sometimes it's fun to just completely change that. And I'm actually okay doing all in same colors. I think that'll look cool. Let's test that real quick. Yeah, that looks really nice. I like that. And that car is spazzing out right there. It's like glitched back and forth. That's kind of strange. Okay. Um, We need a name for this. So we've got Coda Creek. I've got the word corkscrew in mind. So I'm trying to come up with a C word. Uh, a musical C word. Um... Ooh, got it. Corkscrew cadenza. And don't ask me what a cadenza is. Um, I actually have no idea. I just know I've heard the word before. So and it sounds kinda cool. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. Corkscrew cadenza. Alright. Okay. Uh, corkscrew cadenza. Let us give this a test and see how awful or awfully awesome it is.
for me saying repetitively how I had no idea how that was going to come out, I think it came out pretty nicely. Uh, the statistics screen will show me whether I'm right or not here in just a sec, but I think it came out pretty well. Then again, last episode, I thought uh, Turning Fork Terror came out really well, and, you know, it didn't, but that's actually really good. Um, I'm glad to have a... That's good. It's not ultra extreme. Very high is about the highest you want to go for intensity ratings. Extreme is... You're not going to get very many people on it. And ultra extreme, you saw last time, no one wants to ride it. But this is... That is good. 650? We can charge for it? And then we will open this thing up. Let's hope we get some people going on it. And I want to add some music to this portion of our park. I don't know if, I think in this park, I don't want really intense music. I know I want some intense rides, but I don't think I want intense music. So I'm actually gonna add music to Tuning Fork Terror and the Wild West style that it defaults to. I think sounds pretty good for this area. Yeah, I like it. And then let's grab this gentleman right here, Wooden and have him cover this as well. That should be no problem for him. I can't see what I'm having him cover, but he should be able to get there just fine. And then our handyman in this area, I can't see, there he is. Handyman 11, we'll cover all that as well. That should be able to be covered now, so. Okay, corkscrew cadenza. I think it came out very nicely. I hope you guys agree. But that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I'm thinking of structuring this into three videos. This one, the next one, and then the one that wraps up our park and previews the next one. Because we got off a little bit by about two months last episode. So I'm going to try to rectify that with some shorter episodes. I have no idea how long this one is. Uh, but yeah, I think it was still about four months so it's probably about the usual length. I don't really know how long these videos are until I edit them, so hence my uncertainty. But okay, guys, I hope you have enjoyed uh, this course through cadenza. We will see in the coming episodes how well it actually does. You can't really tell when you first build the ride, but I'm happy with it, and I hope you guys are too. But thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you in the next episode, and until then, as always, take care.